Oh, see who's not ready. Okay. We have talked about different uh, methods of solving linear systems. We've looked at graphing, substitution, and elimination. Now in this section, 8.5, we are going to talk about the applications of systems of linear equations and see how to work with application problems and apply uh, what we know so far to try and solve these. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the steps involved in um, solving these sort of problems. Now, your first thing, of course, will be to read the problem carefully until you understand what is given and what is to be found. So that will definitely be one of the most important things that you want to do. Then you will assign variables to represent the unknown values uh, using diagrams or tables as needed. Uh, sometimes to put them in these uh, formats as a diagram or table really helps you to visualize and see what uh, you want to work on. So the second thing you will do is assign variables and write down what each variable represents. Then in step three, you will write a system of equations uh, that relates to the unknown. So, you know, just like you have seen us solve the system of equations, you will have to come up with one uh, so that you can relate your unknowns. And the next thing you will do is, of course, solve the system of equations. Now, in step four is where you can use any of the three methods that you have learned. You could try graphing, you could try substitution, or even elimination to solve the system of equations. After that, you will state the answer to the problem. Now, when you come up with the answer, you always want to try and see, does it seem reasonable or is the uh, answer just too absurd? Is it too uh, different to be uh, your answer? So you always want to make sure that the answer seems reasonable and you can use this as your answer. And then, of course, the last thing would be to check your answer uh, in the original problem. Now let's start with our first example here. In this example we are going to talk about um, this um, basketball court. We are saying in your problem that Jason and Vince found that the width of their basketball court was 44 feet less than the length. If the perimeter of the basketball court was 288 feet, what were the length and width of their court? So you have to first see what information is given to you, okay, and how to um, interpret that information. Now they're telling you that you have a basketball court, so we know basketball courts are a rectangular uh, shape. So let's go ahead and make a diagram here that will help us solve this problem. They're telling us that the width of the basketball court was 44 feet less than the length. Okay, so we will go ahead and say L is the length of your basketball court. Okay, and then uh, this will, of course, be your L. Now remember, in a rectangle, your opposite sides have the same length. So if the longer side is what we're calling as the length, both the sides will be uh, of the same measure. Now they're telling us that the width is 44 feet less than the length. So if we use W to represent our width, that will basically be... Okay, so when they say that the width is 44 feet less than the length, that means if you have the length L and you subtract 44 from it, that is what your width will be, 44 feet less than the length. Okay, so that's the information that we have from our uh, problem here. They are also telling us that the perimeter of your cord is 288 feet. Now again, remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside edges of your uh, any flat object, in this case our basketball court. So your perimeter for this court is 288 feet. Okay, so that means if I add 
all the four edges of my basketball court, that should add up to 288 feet. Now, your second thing you want to do after you get all this information is try and put these together in a system of equations format. Now, we have already defined our variables, what each one of those stand for. Uh, from the information given to us in the problem, we already have one equation here. You have W equals L minus 44, because that is where they said that the width was less than um, the length by 44 feet. The other information they gave us was in terms of the uh, perimeter. They said the perimeter uh, is 288 feet. Now, in terms of a formula, the perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus 2W, which is the two lengths plus the two widths, if you add them together. So putting this information together, your system of equations will look like this. You have your perimeter formula, 2L plus 2W. Now we already know what P is, that's your perimeter, which is 288 feet. So you can write this as 2L plus 2W equals 288. And then the other information available to us is this width uh, definition right here, which they tell us is uh, 44 feet less than your length. And right there, you can see we can come up with our system of equations in this form. This will be your first equation, and this one here will be your second equation. Now, if you look at the way the two equations are set up, you have the second one already solved for W. You have W equals L minus 44. So substitution would be the best method to use here to go ahead and find out your unknown values here. Now again, remember, they are asking you to find the length and the width of the court. So let's go ahead and solve this system of equations. Okay, as I said, we will use substitution. by substitution you will have 2L equals now in the first equation we are going to substitute our second equation so you replace your W with L minus 44 equals 288 okay so we just substituted our second equation into the first and now you will notice that your equation here is only in terms of L, so we can go ahead and now find the length of the basketball court. So you end up with 2L plus you go ahead and distribute that 2 inside the parentheses, so you end up with 2L minus 88, which will give you, combine the L's and you have 4L minus 88 we will go ahead and move our 88 to the other side. Okay, and that will give you 4L equals, uh, go ahead and add 288 and 88, which will give you 376. Okay, once you do that, now again, you want to get L by itself. So we divide both sides by 4, and that will give you 376 divided by 4, which should equal 94 feet, okay? That is the length of your basketball court. Now, we also have to find the width of the court. Now, remember, for that, you can go ahead and use your second equation which was based on the information that the width is 44 feet less than the length. So all you need to do for that is take your length here and subtract 44 from it, which will give you your width as 50 feet, okay? Now once you do that, you have your length, you have your width, a good way to check your answers would be to use the perimeter information here. Now they're telling you that the perimeter of the court is 288 feet, so go ahead and add your 
two lengths which are 94 feet each and your two widths which are 50 feet each and go ahead and see what your um, answer will be. So your perimeter should be 2 times 94 which is your length plus 2 times 50 and this should add up to give you 288 feet. Okay, and of course you will notice that you end up with um, the 2 times 94 will give you 188 and 2 times 50 will give you 100 and of course 100 and 188 add up to give you 288 feet. So this was how you can check your answer. Okay. So this is the information that we are looking for right here. So you can see it's uh, pretty simple. You just have to figure out um, you know, what variables to assign and then go ahead and set up your system of equations. And once you do that, determine which method would be the best way to solve it and you have your answer here.